the dust has settled. Chronomalies in their current state are not top tier. It is unfortunate, but we could still try our best to provide the best way, the most optimal way to play this deck. Let's go. Bruh, if you attack me, if you attack me, if you attack me, he's gonna attack. <laughs> he's going to. Flame on, get ready. He's gonna attack. He's gonna attack. Everyone told me Chronomaly's only good on the first day it comes out because only then would people not know what the deck does. Bruh, it's been a while. They still don't know. They don't know. Don't tell them. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Now, I'm going to be honest. This is big time copium. I'm upset that the deck is not top tier. I'm just doing my best. So I got really excited when I saw that with the Atlantis, that someone topped a tournament. Now we have another duel, another video about topping a Japanese tournament, but this is Che winning an anytime tournament. This is an $8 tournament. It's a mini tournament. And this is how he played it. A bit different than how we played it. Yeah, there's Book of Moon, yeah, there's Treacherous, but I think the deck needs all the help it could get. So we are essentially playing this deck and seeing, maybe when playing it optimally built for a tournament as Che did, that the deck is maybe good, a lot better. I actually enjoy the deck a lot, so let's get into the deck. Sometimes in life, when you have a problem, you solve it by throwing money at it, a lot of money. So Che, inspired me to throw all my money at this deck. We got Book of Moons, we got Treacherous, we got Lance. Otherwise, you don't need those, or maybe you do, because you tell me how much these cards helped me in the duels. I want you to analyze the duels where I use any of those cards. Did I only win because of Treacherous, Book, and or Lance? Book of Moon being the biggest problem because it's not obtainable outside of using money at the current moment unless the new world is coming out and with Book of Moon comes with it, that will be great. What does this deck do well? It exceeds incredibly consistently. It makes a Chateau turn one very easily. It makes an Atlantis turn one very easily. It makes the Ford Focus turn one easily. It even makes a Patriarch turn one very easily. How does it do so? Well, if you have any Chronomaly on the field, you could special summon the Mayo, then you could exceed into anything from your extra deck, and I'll tell you how. If your opponent controls a monster and you don't, you could special summon the Bones, which will then special summon a Chronomaly from the hand or the graveyard, then you could exceed into any monster from the extra deck. You could discard a Skull if you control a Chronomaly to search your deck for a Bones, a Nebra Disc, or a Mayo, so that's gonna make the deck more consistent to then exceed into anything from the extra deck. Or, you could normal summon the Nebra Disc, then search for the Mayo, then instantly exceed into anything from the extra deck. Now that you know how to very easily exceed, what is worth exceeding when, where, and why? If you make a turn one Atlantis, it's gonna be 4,000 attack. You could drop it back down to 2,600 to inflict half of your opponent's life point damage to them. So they drop from 4K to 2K, that's great. If you make a turn one Chateau, you have a quick effect, which you could use in the damage step to reduce any monster to zero attack. That might be the best one to make. If you're gonna play against a deck that has level five or higher effect monsters, you may wanna make the forward focus because it will quick effect detach material to negate a level five or higher monster. And if you're playing against Cyber Dragons or Harpies, you wanna make the Patriarch because when they have double Harpy Lady on the field, all the Harpies become Harpy Ladies, or they have double Cyber Dragon on the field, the Cyber Dragon monsters become Cyber Dragon on the field. You activate the Patriarch, then they could only have one. So they lose the other Cyber Dragons, they lose the other Harpies. This could be a great card. And if any of those effects don't sound great, then you probably don't want to play the deck. I do think we maybe need better exceeds to make this top tier. The reason we're able to easily exceed into anything, what we do is we use the skill to send an extra deck monster to the graveyard to then use whatever its rank number it was and is, it will turn the entire field into that number. So you send a six to turn the whole field into level six, you send a four to make the whole field into a level four. 
What could be funny is you use Atlantis to cut them to 2k. The next turn you make a Chateau to then deal 2k damage over a face-up attack position monster. That's great. You could use the Chronomaly Never Disc to search for a Pyramid Eye Tablet to boost up all your Chronomalies by 800. Now let me tell you a cool combo I'd like to do. The combo is if you have a Nebra Disc in the graveyard, what you could do is if you special summon the bones while you control no monster and your opponent does, the bones will then special summon a Chronomaly onto the field. Turn all the Chronomalies into level six, then make an Atlantis. Atlantis will then be 4,000 attack. Then you want to normal summon your Nebra Disc, do not activate it, then activate the Nebra Disc in your graveyard to special summon onto the field. Nebra Disc plus Nebra Disc will then make a Chateau. So in one turn, you're making the Chateau and the Atlantis. The Chateau will reduce a monster to zero attack. And then you can attack over for 4,000 damage over the zero attack. That's probably my favorite combo to do with this deck. And you can make it more consistent when you have the skull helping you search for anything you're missing. That's the deck, optimal chronomalies using the optimal staples and returning back to the deck to play it and coping with it not being top tier, but still enjoying the deck. You tell me what the deck needs. Let's go. Lefev Raj, is Konami trying to kill you by killing the game? No, DK'd. Not on my watch. Lefev Raj, you what, mate? What? Lefev Raj, the gifted sub, DLM mine. Thank you. Thank you by hard plugging me into DLM Copium that you are all giving me, I cannot die. No matter what Konami does. Thank you. The game is fine. Left Ev Raj, thank you for three days grace. G Black with the gifted subs, DLM mine. Mine, mine, mine. More subs, gifted subs, three DLM mines. Thank you so much, G Black. Dumb Nud. Subbing to Flex on the kid, begging me to gift him a sub. Cut your neighbor's grass, it's just five dollars. Smiley. Cutting grass for five bucks? I would pay that. That's, I think we pay 20 bucks a month? I don't even know. Monthly cost to cut grass? Make your move. How much is it to cut grass? Whoa, 30 to 80 dollars? What are you all doing? You should be cutting grass literally right now. Nebra disc. I'm gonna grab the skull. Skull. Mayo. Mayo. El Mayo. Hold up. You both are Blue Eyes White Dragon. Couldn't I just destroy you with the Patriarch? That wouldn't be good. No good, no good. We're gonna send the Patriarch. Big damage. This is almost lethal. This is almost lethal. We are off by how much? This is 3,600 damage. I cannot believe this. This was actually almost lethal. What the? Reduce. Reduce the fool. If we were to reduce with the lance and reduce another by zero, we could have done how much damage? 400, 3,200, knife beam. That's right. That's right. That is right. You do not hit my treacherous. My monster's effect. With treachery? <laughs> nice night beam. <laughs> Who hits the left? Who hits the last set card? Everyone sets their least important card last. It goes middle, right, left. Are you out of your freaking mind? That's a big treacherous. 
We trench it. Wipe the fields. Rise with me. Rise. Arise. What? What is this? Melody? Melody! Bruh, if you attack me, if you attack me, if you attack me, he's going to attack. <laughs> he's going to flame on. Get ready. He's going to attack. He's going to attack. Everyone told me Chronomaly is only good on the first day it comes out because only then would people not know what the deck does. Bruh. It's been a while. They still don't know. They don't know. Don't tell them. Let's <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, Kaiba. Do it. Activate. Detach. Reduce. Fool. You dare interfere with my plans? I fight for my family. That's why I'll never lose. That's an E2. <laughs> the thong song? Oh my. Oh my. True Sathari. Bible Thumb, Deal and Pride. 30 months of wrecking lightning. You know it. Jade on with the 23, one month away from ascending. Doni Astica with the 18, six months away from ascending. Check the back row, see what's activatable. Right now, we know definitively he does not have Cosmic, he does not have MST, and that's pretty much the extent of what we know. Activate. Now the back row is activatable. He chose to not Floodgate if he has Floodgate. Do you think he's got Floodgate? Do you think? If you have Bones plus a Nebra Disc in your hand, that means you have 4,000 damage over any face-up attack position monster next turn. Next turn. What you do is you Bone Special Summon exceed into a rank 6. You Nebra Disc plus Nebra Disc in the graveyard make the rank 4 to double exceed. Reduce the monster to 0. Attack for 4,000. Let's go. My mayo. Ma Mayo. If we want to be extra protective, we could just double the Mayo. Double the Mayo, since we have lethal with these two. Gateway. Send the Patriarch. Let's go. What do you think is in the back row? Let's go. Let's battle. Smiley face. You going first? What? It actually is a resonator deck. Resonator bricked. Now, if we were 100% on it being Resonator, which you don't know because the ladder, you don't want to send Wild Wind to the graveyard. You don't want to do it. All right, let's go. Focus. Check the Hourglass Pass. So we know his back row is not activatable. Non-activatable back row from Jack. What could that be? That could be a Solemn Scolding. Let's see. Resonator. If the back row is not activatable, it is not, 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 could, not, not, could, I'm mean, Ballista, really? Not, not, no way, no way, is it going to be a needle ceiling? Now, these are just the most likely if he's actually playing by the meta. If he's not playing by meta, we could just go by trap overall. He might just be playing popular traps, we could see. With popular traps, let's scroll until it's something. It could be drowning or needle sealing. Come to me. I a monster. All right. Red Wolf, 
Red Warg? What? What? What the? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Free to play. <laughs> Free to play. Let's go. Shadow Daffy with the eye ladies nuts. Keck. W. You are going through every single. We got Kesha up next. Freaking Kesha. Doom Dragon. Now, Doom Dragon's not activatable if he has a card in the hand, so I'm just going to not care. He ha now has no cards in the hand. Now I'm going to book a moon. You cannot make this play if your toggle is on auto. You need your toggle on on to do what I just did. Let's see the back row. What is it? The newly set card is not activatable. Non activatable. Never disc. Let's grab a skull. Wait, is the tablet going to be good here? Tablet? Tablet? 2400 defense? Tablet it is. Let's get tabletating. Tablet. Do we go for 4,000 attack or just double 26? Double 26 is quite lit. It's 2400 defense, right? 2400, 2400, it's double checking. 24, 24. Let's go. If you drown me, you better not drown me. He's got drowning. What? Bro, what? What? Your back was activatable. Wicked Rebirth? Of course it was Rick Wicked Rebirth. How do I not know? Target a Synchro in your graveyard special summon it in attack position. Its effects are negated. What? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? The deuce. Fool! Yes! 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 This defeat isn't enough to break my dueling spirit. I win this duel. We thonging. Who's shaking that thing? Change levels. We burning. We burning. I have enough back row to protect. We're gonna burn. Get burning. Now, we understand that if this actually makes it on a YouTube cutscene, they have no idea why I'm talking about a thong because this is muted and blocked. YouTube, if you want the context of why we're talking about thong, 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 thong. Because I like thongs. Burn for 2K. Detach. Reduce. Draw. Draw. We drawing. Hourglass. I draw. No quick effect. Nothing quick. Please make Konami make this game good again. Left of Raj. Done. Cup of Ace? Cup of what? You just drew two on a 50%? Are you kidding me? Okay. What? Neither player could summon light monsters. I am a light monster. The freaking Nebra Disc is a light monster. Let's go. He's got back row, so I am going to not exceed. Right? What do you think? I think we should actually exceed. Let's go for the exceed. Let's go. Let's do it. Skull. 
Chronomaly from my oh, you're right. I can't because I can't special summon. I could book a moon him though. Wait, Chateau's light? Your light, your light. Your. Wait. The entire extra deck is light. The entire extra deck is light. Okay. The best play is to grab a Nebra disc. You will not Despacito me. You will not. Go, Atlantis. Eternal devastation. Pass. Behold. Karma cut. Three thousand defense. We'll go down to eighteen. Eighteen hundred. If we flip down, it may be better, but Lance could be better. We go to eighteen. 1800 attack. I don't think he would karma cut if he had a Despacito. So I think we're going to Lance. He's got another karma cut, then we'll book. Super Team Buddy Force Unite. What? What the? What the? What are you trying to summon? What is he summoning that could be good? On my monster. What? DVN Luxa. Love you too, my friend. Thank you, my son. 16 months. You have a 25% chance. 25. 25. There we go. Continue. All right, he's got Temperance. He's got Temperance. We know he's got Temperance. I'm not guessing, I know. He's got Temperance. No quick play. Did he draw on a Despacito? If you know he doesn't have Despacito, you have to look at the newly drawn card in focus. And in Duel Links, you cannot shuffle your hand unless you activate an effect that adds a card to your hand and puts a card on top of your deck. So you do want to check the cards in their hand. You want to see that they've been holding onto a card since turn one and not activating it. You need to pay attention. Nice. 